I'm going to make a new video on my stainless steel snare that I made. Sounds different when it's not on the stand. Okay. I took a piece of stainless steel, 40 something inches long, whatever the diameter, circumference, fold the edges over a half of an inch, folded them down, and then rolled it up into a roll. I the seam where I welded it together is underneath the throwdown, so you can't see it very good. You can't hardly see it at all. So I didn't spend much time cleaning it. Polished it up. I bought these two rims. These are TomTom -tom rims. But I had to cut the slots in them for these tapes to come through because they're not exactly center. I had to match them to this. I bought the throw down. They're only about five bucks. I made this piece, this clamp to hold the other side and uh, bolted it all on. The lugs are brass. This is half inch rod and then uh, a block underneath. I had to cut a radius to set them in, to saddle them in. And there's one bolt going from the inside, going from the inside of it all the way out to into screwed right into there with a quarter twenty screw coarse thread that's a twelve twenty four thread there I bought them screws and I had to buy a tap to tap those to get them in there I had to buy just the right size screws so they didn't hit together in the middle or hit that screw that come in there okay I bought the heads naturally and you can get a, a twelve inch uh, Snare. I've been thinking about getting a wide one to see what it sounds like, but I don't play these drums that much anymore. I'll probably never make another one of these because it takes too long to do. Kind of like my Jewel. This is my favorite drum I've got in my whole set, and uh, it sounds the best. So um, that's probably all all I got. It takes so long to make them that that's not worth. Uh, making another one if you're not going to need it and uh, I polish it all up with car wax to keep it from tarnishing car wax I wipe it all down with car wax and polish it that keeps it tarnishing and, and it the uh, uh, brass that's brass and that's bearing bronze I polish them with uh, car wax too to keep them from tarnishing they don't have any paint on them so uh, I think that's probably it that's a Ludwig I got that at the music store. Taiwan, foreign crap. You can't get nothing good. Um, anyway, that's a Weather King head. I don't have any muffles on it at all. Oh, I don't think. No, there's no muffles except the tape. Got a good sound. And it's a little, and I like it a little because my knees fit on both sides of it because I have a double base, a Gibraltar double base. And uh, I was crowded with a big, with a big snare. Anyway, uh, that's about it. So uh, if you decide to build one, that's how I do it. You know. You can put these screws together. You don't need the lug. You don't need a screw to here. You can put them together and just pull them together with a smooth uh, inside. I thought about doing that with some of that aluminum checker plate, making one, or making a checker plate one. I saw that. They look pretty neat. But the hard part is the round edge here, so it don't cut the it don't cut the uh, head. It's, it's folded over and then rolled up. So that's so it's folded all the way down in there, and it's got a nice round edge on it. It's got to be flat around the top. Okay, that's about it.